one, two, and three point freehand cubes. So when you're drawing cubes, you have to realize um, which perspective you're using that's appropriate. So if you're looking straight on at a cube where you're seeing the face, the appropriate one for that would be one point. Uh, so you draw, start with a square. Uh, if you're looking at a corner of a cube primarily, you'd want to start with the vertical segment. That's the closest corner edge. And for a three-point cube, you want to start with the closest corner. Um, the the uh, the intersecting corner. Uh, so you'd figure which way do you want it to go. You could don't have to plot a vanishing point. If you want to, you can put one out there, and then just estimate them tapering or converging uh, towards a vanishing point. Um, and then you have to estimate. And we're not going to construct these transparently. Uh, but the, the idea is to make it so they don't look like rectangular prisms. Now with freehand, I don't want you using ruler. I want it to be all um, uh, just freehand. And so with the one point, you want to keep this in mind that the horizontal lines are going to be parallel. The vertical lines are going to be parallel and then the convergence lines going to an imaginary vanishing point are going to be converging, are going to be tapering. That is the biggest thing of all of these is to remember that they have to be going in towards one another, not doing this. That's called expanding planes and we don't want that. Uh, not at this phase. Bad. Okay, so uh, with this, you can um, imagine there's a vanishing point. You're going to taper these lines going away, and then taper these lines going away. Figure out what looks like a square face. Same over here. And so what you need to check for with these are that the vertical lines are parallel and that these three sets of lines are tapering two sets of lines, excuse me. So these set of three, one, two, three. There's a slight taper going on. So that's fine. If it's parallel, it looks like they are um, actually expanding. Okay, so for the two point, the verticals are parallel and these converge. For the three point, nothing is implicitly parallel. In fact, I'm going um, to start this way. I'm just going to go here, and then I can do that. And then I can maybe even change the obliquity on this side. And I'll start here. I'm going to taper down. And then these are going to need to taper. what you have at three point are basically three sets of lines that are all going towards a vanishing point. So all the lines need to be tapering, converging. That is it. 
make sure you do these in graphite uh, when you're uh, finished with your blue line construction. There you go.